Hey there and welcome to NBA 2K18. My name is Pete and today I'll show you 10 players whose positions you should change in the game in order to increase player ratings. Now, player ratings in NBA 2K18 are pretty much a representation of how well a player is suited to play the position he is assigned to. For example, 85 overall Andre Drummond is very well suited for the center position because of his high rebound and inside defense ratings. However, if we switch Andre Drummond to a point guard, his rating will drop significantly because he's simply not well suited to play that position as he lacks skills like passing, ball handling and outside shooting. Now, each year on every team there are always a handful of players whose assigned positions are actually not the ones best suited for them. And in this video I will show you 10 of those players whose overall ratings increase if their positions are changed. One last thing, I do not only take into account how their ratings change, but also what that means for the team they play for. Because switching a guy to small forward simply because his rating increases by a few points is not exactly the most sensible idea if the team he plays for already has four small forwards on the roster. I think you get the idea, so without any further ado, let's get started. So, number one, change David Nwaba of the Chicago Bulls from a shooting guard to a small forward for a three-point rating increase from 71 to 74. With three shooting guards ahead of him in Dwayne Wade, Zach Levine and Justin Holliday, and tied with the same rating as Paul Zipser, David Nwaba is likely out of the rotation in Chicago entirely. That could change with a switch to small forward, where his rating would rise by three points to a solid 74, immediately making him the Bulls' best player at that position, ahead of Quincy Pondexter and Denzel Valentine. His 6'4 frame might be a bit undersized for the small forward position, but Nwaba is an excellent defender and could prove to be valuable against some of the league's scoring wings. Number 2. Frank Kaminsky of the Charlotte Hornets, who can get a 2-point rating increase from 76 to 78 if his position is switched from center to power forward. Now, I remember already talking about this in my 2K17 video for the Hornets, where Kaminsky was also better suited at the power forward. Now, with the arrival of Dwight Howard in Charlotte and Cody Zeller still very likely being the second best big man on the roster, Kaminsky's playing time at the center will likely be non-existent. But with the aforementioned position switch, Kaminsky could immediately become the team's starting power forward, ahead of Marvin Williams and Johnny O'Brien. Regarding Williams, this also puts you in a good position going forward, as with the starting job going to Kaminsky, you might now have an easier time trading Williams to get rid of his potentially troublesome player option. Number 3. Change Mendaugas Kisminskis of the New York Knicks from a power forward to a small forward to get his rating up from 73 to 75. The big man rotation in New York is somewhat crowded with six players in total, and rating-wise, Kisminskis is sadly the worst of them. That means he will likely not see a lot of minutes, if at all, and that makes a switch to the small forward a lot more desirable. If switched, his rating will jump up to 75, and the addition of Kisminskis at the small forward will provide you with much needed depth at that position, because otherwise Lance Thomas would be the only option behind Camelo Anthony. This move will likely make Kuzminskis your first option off the bench at the small forward, while you could now seek a trade for Thomas if his $7 million salary is a bit too much for you. For move number 4, we go to Sacramento, where shooting guard Bogdan Bogdanovic can get a 1-point rating increase from 74 to 75 if he switched to small forward. Both Bogdanovic and Temple currently battle for the backup spot behind Buddy Heald in Sacramento, and if we look at their ratings, both of them should probably get minutes in the Kings rotation. By keeping them both at the shooting guard, that will be a bit tough to manage, but if we move Bogdanovic over to the small forward, not only does his rating increase, but there are also plenty of minutes available for him. This would also remove the need to start 40-year-old Vince Carter, who is on the brink of retirement, and even if you still continue to bring Bogdanovic off the bench, he is a much better option at the small forward than Jakar Sampson. For move number 5, we have rookie Kyle Kuzma of the Los Angeles Lakers, who can be switched from power forward to small forward for a 3-point rating increase from 72 to 75. In his current role at the power forward, Kuzma is stuck in the rotation behind Julius Randle and Larry Nance, who will likely share playing time between each other without any minutes left for Kuzma. However, Kuzma's role in the Lakers rotation can easily be upgraded with a switch to small forward, which gives him a nice 3-point boost to his rating and puts him only one rating point shy of the starter at the small forward, Brandon Ingram. This also decreases the importance of the aging veterans Luol Deng and Corey Brewer, which might be a good thing considering the fact that the Lakers are trying to rebuild and focus on younger talents. And we stay in LA for a little while longer, where we can also switch Tyler Ennis from a point guard to a shooting guard, which will give him a 1-point rating boost from 72 to 73. 
The Lakers' point guard spot is currently pretty well stacked with Lonzo Ball and Jordan Clarkson, while Ennis only remains a third-string option. A switch to shooting guard will not see a dramatic rating increase for him, but his new 73 overall is definitely much better than what Josh Hart has to offer, and so Ennis could move up from a third-string point guard to the first option off the bench behind Kentavious Caldwell Pope, while also slightly increasing the Lakers' depth at the shooting guard. Up next, we have Langston Galloway of the Detroit Pistons, who can also be switched from point guard to shooting guard to get a two-point rating increase from 73 to 75. Galloway's situation is somewhat similar to the one of Ennis in LA, as he already has two solid point guards in the rotation ahead of him. And while the rating difference between Smith and Galloway is not that large, switching Galloway to shooting guard makes a bit more sense for the team. Not only does his rating jump up by two points, but the Pistons also get themselves a quality backup at the shooting guard behind Avery Bradley, while their options were previously limited to only rookie Luke Kennard. Number 8 changed Luke Mbamute of the Houston Rockets from power forward to small forward to give him a nice 3-point rating increase from 76 to 79. Now in his current role, Mbamute is solidly in place as the second best power forward on the team behind Ryan Anderson. To be honest, that is a good spot to be in and I wouldn't have made the switch if it wasn't for the higher rating increase. Changing Mbamute to small forward brings his rating up by 3 points, making him not only the highest rated player at the small forward position, but also the 5th highest rated player on the entire team. Now admittedly, the small forward position is now somewhat crowded with Mbamute, Ariza, Tucker and Williams, but keep in mind that all 4 of them can comfortably still play the power forward position as well, so if you're having trouble giving them all enough minutes, a few short stints at the power forward position can change that. And if you're now thinking, well, the power forward spot seems a bit empty behind Anderson, then one simple solution might be to switch Tarek Black from a center to a power forward, which would also give him a 1-point rating increase up to 74 and fill the gap between Anderson and Onwaku. Number 9, we go to New Orleans, where we can switch Tony Allen from a shooting guard to a small forward to get his rating up by 2 points from 78 to 80. Now, on first sight, Tony Allen doesn't really need a position change, as he's already the team's best shooting guard, but the rating increase and the Pelicans' likely rotation make it a good decision nonetheless. Admittedly, as a huge fan, I'm a bit more involved with the team, but also in 2K, they're often choosing a lineup with both Rajan Rondo and Drew Holiday next to each other in the backcourt, which would either move Allen to the bench or to the small forward anyway. So, after making the switch to small forward, we now have a true starting caliber player there, while Moore, Clark and Crawford could either battle for the backup spot behind Holiday or even the starting role as the Pelicans shooting guard. Last but not least, our journey takes us to Phoenix, where we can get Jared Dudley a 2-point rating increase from 74 to 76 by switching him from power forward to small forward. At the power forward, Dudley has two players ahead of him in the rotation in Chris and Williams, while also facing some competition from the three centers on the Suns roster. Assigning him to the small forward instead of the power forward position will boost his rating by two points, but other than that, not change too much in his overall situation on the team, because even after the change, Dudley is still the third man at his position, now with Josh Jackson and TJ Warren ahead of him. Still, the switch not only makes him, but also the Suns slightly better, and so I think it's a sensible idea. And that's it, those were 10 players whose positions I think you should change in NBA 2K18 to increase either their ratings, their team's rotations, or in the best cases, both. Of course, feel free to let me know what you think about those 10 players in the comments below, maybe you also have a go-to guy whose position you always change, or maybe you also completely disagree with one of my choices. If you like this video, then leave a thumbs up, and if you want to support the channel, then feel free to subscribe. More NBA 2K18 is coming, although the changes to my GM mode slightly altered the plans I had for a longer term series. Nonetheless, more content is on the way, so stay tuned and as always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers!